All right, this is our three quart black pot with six quarts of soup, black bean soup, ready to cut. And what I'm going to do is put these clips right here. You see these little guys? I'm just going to clip it so that it's nice and secure. And then I have two grills that I made. This is the grill we're going to be using today. You can see I've got a little hook at the end. So when I take it out to the oven, I can just snap it on. And this is just wire that connects to the grill. So I'm going to set this. Actually, I've got two Pyrodex, or Pyrex bowls here. And I'm going to put this Pyrex bowl on the grill first. Y'all see that? And then, we put the soup in the bottom. And I put the side of the clips inside. So that we've got this black pot surrounded by clear glass. And what's going to happen is when the sun hits this Pyrex, it's going to go right through, hit the black pot, and that sunlight is going to be trapped inside the Pyrex. Now, I'm going to go ahead and clip the Pyrex bowls. Now you can get these Pyrex bowls at Publix. They're cheap. And you can get the, I, or, I got the, it's a granite ware pot. Relatively cheap at, uh, on the internet. Okay, so now I have this grill ready to take out to the oven. All right, here's my oven waiting for the soup. I want to kind of go over a few things before I bring the soup out. Got a tripod here with another clip at the very top. See that clip there at the top? Yeah, that's going to let me just clip that grill right onto it when I bring it out. And I've got my oven pointing towards the sun. You can see the shadow. Had a beautiful day, and I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get the soup. Okay, this is my soup, and as you can see, it's pretty heavy. up properly. And we're just gonna slip this bad boy right onto here. Make sure I'm nice and centered. And I'm just gonna drop it right down into the focal point. Now when we track, what I like to do is look at my shadow and point my shadow at the oven. And if I walk towards that oven, it should be pointing towards me. And as you can see, it's pointing towards me. 
And if you can look down in there, you can see where that grill is sitting right at the bottom of the oven. And as we go around the oven, that pot is in the center, no matter which angle, which side of the oven I look at. That's how we're going to get it to cook on all sides. The sun's going to hit here. Is my hand there? I can't even see it. It's going to hit here. It's going to reflect all the way around. All right, so this is the final step until about an hour. And then, uh, I don't know if you can see, but I'll just put that in there, and, and it's already steaming up in there. You can see the sun reflecting off the pot, and it's starting to get hot. And it's just going to, temperature is just going to continue to rise until about 400 degrees. And we'll come back, let's see, it's almost 12 o'clock, okay? So we'll keep a, a watch on this thing. I'll come back around 1230, and we'll check it see how it looks all right it's about seven minutes till one so it's been a little bit about an hour and 20 minutes since we last saw our oven cooking and as you can see I walk towards my shadow the oven is pointing towards me and then I have some smell the soup, which you can't video, but I'm looking at the reflection on the black pot. If you look at the little reflection dots on the black pot, you can see that I'm getting good reflection on the back, but nothing on the front. So I need, that means I need to bring this oven up somewhere like so. Alright, now you can see some reflective sun spots on the, this side of the black pot. That's going to be a lot more heat. And you can see there's some condensation on the bowl. Here on the bottom, more obvious. You've got to watch that condensation because it will bubble out between the two Pyrex bowls and drip down onto the oven. And you can see there's a drip going right there. The oven is extremely hot to touch. But the pot glass is hot. So we're cooking. Slowly but surely. One point I need to make is the fact that the grill is not making any con uh, heavy contact with the oven. It's just barely touching it. But the weight of the soup is being held by the tripod. It's pretty obvious, but if you put too much weight on the oven, it can degrade the cardboard and scratch the reflective surface. something cool. And that rascal there up on top of the roof. Uh, I bet you know what that is. It's a solar water heater. And it is definitely heating water while we're cooking soup. Another point I want to make is how the oven is stationed next to the garage there. Because today's a very windy day. I don't know if you can tell, but the garage is blocking the wind. And of course the less wind, the, the wet, less wind the better, because it can literally blow the oven over. Plus it we don't want to circulate the air 
out of the uh, focal point of the oven. All right, it's almost 1.30. This thing's been in the sun for, oh, it's about 11.30, I guess. As you can see, we've got water dripping, which is what I've been looking for here. Right? I don't know if you can see that water dripping out of there, down onto the oven. But we're going to have to deal with that. But it is so hot. The steam is condensating, uh, condescending. See it coming out of there? I'm going to show you what to do with that right now. All right, what we've done here to correct the problem of the water <laughs> dripping out between the pirate's bowls is we put two little toothpicks in there, which is going to allow the steam to escape before it the condensation forms. You can see the that bowl is hot, hot, hot. And so it's a matter of managing the greenhouse inside the Pyrex bowls. All right, it's two o'clock, and we put this on at 11:30. And it usually takes about a half hour to get hot, so we've been cooking for about two hours. And as you can see, I can see there's steam coming out of there. I don't know if you can see it. It's so windy today. But I kind of think that's cool. We've got water dripping down, but not onto the oven. It's all staying inside now. Then we put the toothpicks in there. The little toothpicks. I'm going to pull this in the house in just a minute and add some more spices to the soup. And then we'll resume cooking. This is six and a half cups of water in a black bean soup being soaked overnight oh, there's some dripping that is a problem it's so hot that I almost have to cool it down alright let's I'm gonna haul it in the house and we'll take a look in, inside alright let's see what we got here it's uh a little after three o'clock here and I'm getting hungry for soup. I'm gonna see if I have something all done. See that? Okay. All right, let's pull the clips off. Whoa! What do we got here? Looks like black bean soup. serve some of this up because it looks good to me and the cost to cook for three hours zero pull the toothpicks out Don't want to touch that glass because it is hot, hot, hot. You see all that steam coming out of there? That's 
good. lime spices. Hot to touch. Try to get the top of those clips to the other side there. Not outside, but inside. down. We're ready to go back in the oven. And this is the final chapter in how to cook black bean soup. Uh, and it's all in the taste. As you can see, we're going to eat this right now. See that? Say goodbye. Mm. And this is the recipe I use. It's called Harvest Chipotle Lime Black Bean Soup. It's cheap. Black bean soup. And as you can see, the recipe calls for seven cups of water. 60 minutes. We did three hours so I always cook slower and longer with my soup which is what makes the solar oven the perfect appliance.